Okay, question number nine from C2, January 2012, GCE. Um, a question about the sine curve. It says, figure four shows the part of the curve with equation sine ax minus b, where a is greater than zero and b is between zero and pi. The curve cuts the x-axis at the points p, q, and r as shown. Give the coordinates of PQ and, given that the coordinates of p, q, and r are pi over 10, zero, three pi over five, zero, and 11 pi over 10, zero. Find the values of a and b. Okay, so here, this x value here is pi over 10. The x value here is three pi over 5 and the x value here is 11 pi over 10 okay so this b is something positive so this has definitely been shifted to the right by a certain amount um, there's also a, a horizontal stretch going on too so right we know the knowledge we have in p1 and p2 or c1 and c2 doesn't um, deal with these um, multiple transformations combined transformations so don't need I'm not going to go into the details about that I'll just show you how to do this purely algebraically okay so basically what's happened here is we know that sine ax minus b okay when x is equal to pi over 10 is going to give us zero this is the x value and this is the, the y value it's going to give us um, zero um, over there so what we can say is for p we can say that when we can say sine instead of x with p x is equal to pi over 10 so you're going to have sine times uh, sine sorry sine a times pi over 10 so that's you can say that's pi a over 10 minus b equals 0 and for q we can say x is equal to 3 pi over 5 so we can say the sine of you're going to have um, a times 3 pi over 5, so that's 3 pi a over 5 minus b is equal to 0. And for r, we've got x equals 11 pi over 10. So we can say that the sine of 11 pi times a over 10 minus b equals 0. Now what we have to understand here is p is the value which is closest to zero so if i find this if i find if for example if i know that the sine of something is equal to zero then that something that angle is going to be given by shift sine of zero which is equal to the well one of the values is zero that's the one closest to the um closest to to zero of course the, cl the one closest to zero is zero that's the first answer your calculator gives Okay, and the other answer is 180 minus 0, or pi minus 0, which is pi. So basically, this, the, this is the closest angle to what would be 0 here. So you can say that basically pi a over 10 minus b equals 0 is what this solution will give us. That's going to be the value of that angle. Now the value of this angle, 3 pi a over 5 minus b, well this is the next angle along. The next angle along where the sine curve hits zero is going to be pi degrees. So that must be for pi. And then the next time it hits zero is at two pi. Okay, that's how the sine curve goes. So the sine of something equals zero equals uh, sine of an angle equals zero at zero, at pi, at two pi. And this is the one that's closest to two pi. Okay, so you've got 11 pi over 10, 11 pi a over 10 minus b is equal to 2 pi. So we have these three equations we could use to try to find what a and b are. Okay, so from the first equation, it's pretty easy to just uh, rearrange that. You've got pi a, pi a over 10 equals b. So you can say b is equal to pi a over 10. So let's change this b with pi over 10. So this you can call this equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. In fact, we can just use uh, just use elimination. That's probably easier. So, for example, here, if I take equation one and two and I sub if I subtract them, okay, the b's will cancel out. So let me subtract this. I think this is bigger. So subtract this way. So equation two minus equation one, you're going to have uh, three pi three pi a over five minus pi a over ten equals pi. Okay, so this is like 6 pi a 
over 10 minus pi a over 10 equals pi. So the pi's will cancel out. So we're left with um, 6. Uh, that will be 1 here, not 0, 1. So you're going to 6a minus a, so that's 5a over 10 equals 1. So a is going to be 10 divided by 5, which is 2. That's the value of a. And then for b, we can just substitute that into one of these equations. Like this one, for example, we know that b is equal to pi a over 10. So b is equal to pi over 10 times 2 because a is 2, so b is equal to, b is equal to pi over 5. Okay, so I hope that was clear for you. That's a and that's b. Okay, so basically what we, the way we did this question is we realized that the sign of all of this equals 0, okay, equals 0 when, um, at zero degrees, at pi degrees, at two pi degrees. So ax minus b, okay, equals zero when x is pi over 10, because that's the closest to zero. And ax minus b equals pi when x is three pi over five, because that's the one that's closest to zero, okay? Or closest to pi, sorry. And ax minus b equals two pi when pi x equals 11 pi over 10, because that's the one that's closest to two pi. Okay, so that's how we worked out the answer to this question.